just having to balance this, but have to balance anything. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely like a new experience for me. Like I said, it's my first child, uh, but my girlfriend, her mother, does a very good job with helping me out, making sure uh, she's not keeping me up late for practice and everything like that. But I also do my job. Uh, between practices, I go home and give her mother a break and uh, hold her, feed her, whatever I got to do just to give uh, her mother some uh, time off. I was going to say, you're getting, you're getting enough sleep. You're getting much sleep right now. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a good schedule. Uh, I mean, she has her night and day mixed up right now, but uh, she's getting better uh, each and every week. It's a cliche question. Like, what's, the, what's been the best part so far and what's been maybe the toughest part? I think the best part uh, is just seeing her smile, man. That's like the most beautiful thing to see. And she look like look just like me, so of course she got a cute <laughs> smile. But uh, that's the best thing. I feel like the hardest thing is just uh, knowing what she's crying for. Uh, you know, they can't talk, so sometimes you just don't know what they're crying for. It could be food, it could be a diaper change, anything like that. But uh, as time goes on, I'm starting to like get it better. I guess just, you talked about it a little bit, but what's it like and what do you feel like it's going to be like for you is you have to balance that more when school starts and all that. I know you're senior, so I, I imagine your, your course load may not be quite as rigorous as some guys. But. Yeah, and that's the good thing about it. Uh, my last year, I don't have that many credits uh, to finish my uh, senior year. Uh, so I think that uh, academic-wise, I don't think it'll be a problem or interference. I know I'll probably have to move around some scheduling with football in the afternoon to pick her up from daycare and stuff like that. Uh, but with, with uh, her mom being a good help, uh, I think we should balance out everything pretty well. Obviously, we see Donovan, so do you have your idea, any advice from him on how to balance out? Or how to work um, the most part that he uh, had told me was just make sure uh, I give her mother some time, uh, like a break, and take the baby, give her some time to sleep and everything, especially during camp. Uh, because they're with them all day. So that our little break we get uh, right now is the time where I can just go and relieve her. How old is she? Again? She's about to be three weeks on Sunday. Three weeks, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So what was that like? I mean, just like right as you're going into camp, I mean, just having that and enjoy the things. Like I said, it was a it was a blessing and motivation uh, all in one. Um, just another thing to like uh, drive me and uh, put some fire behind me just to keep going and. Uh, it's been good so far. Of course, Shelby's been talking about the competition, some of the younger guys. I mean, how much are they pushing you guys right now? Uh, they're, they're really good, and that's even more motivation uh, to just make sure I'm on top of everything uh, mentally and physically. Uh, we have some good athletes in, the, in my position room, and uh, it, it's really good competition. But Shelby wants to see more takeaways in practice. Uh, you're not, you are doing something all your for your thoughts on how you guys are doing that uh, I think I think as a position room, uh, we're right there when the ball at the point of attack, but we just got to make the plays more. Um, but defensively as a whole, I feel like we've been doing a really good job with our takeaways. And uh, I see the push-ups, obviously, that's started a while and so forth and everything. What's that like when you get a hand on the ball and uh, you can't finish it and you have to do uh, push-ups? Or... I mean, that's just motivation to catch it next time because you don't want to be in the middle of a, a, <laughs> a practice period and doing 20 push-ups at a time or something like that. So. Any thoughts just about the expectations, though? Because, you, you know, like Coach Allen thinks this is kind of the deepest, most talented position group. I mean, how much do you guys kind of yes. welcome that going into season, those kind of expectations? Uh, at the beginning of the camp, I told the defense that we should have the mentality that we could be the best defense in the nation. Uh, a couple of years ago, last year, whatever it was, uh, we had the goal to be the top 25 defense. And I feel like we are much better defense than that. And so our goal and expectations, especially from the defensive leaders and the seniors on the defense, uh, like the expectation is higher. We're, we're better than we were last year, and we we got to have that mentality and play with that confidence. You're going up against receivers like Westbrook and Hale, right? Because I mean, how much more will that prepare you for when the big time play comes around? Uh, I mean, I feel like our wide receivers are the top receivers in the uh, country and the conference, whatever you want to call it. And so going against them is just preparation every day to, that's getting us better. And not only are they making us better, but we're making them better. A lot bigger guys. I mean, how do you deal with that in press and, you know, the point of attack? And Coach Shelby, talk about that. Uh, I mean, we just got to be more physical. Uh, we can't let them push us around um, and get space on us. So we got to just focus on our technique and details and be physical at the point of attack.